President Jacob Zuma's allegedly corrupt relationship with the controversial Gupta family has prompted a widespread outcry from South Africans. It's also prompted cartoonists uh, and satirists, of course, to voice their thoughts on the matter in a unique way. In studio with me, Daniel Friedman, also known as the Deep Fried Man, uh, he's released a new uh, video, which we're, we're going to get to in a moment. I'm not sure if you were you're aware of some of the statements that President Zuma made on Human Rights Day uh, in terms of cartoonists and satirists who are uh, masquerading, who are racist masquerading behind a satire. What is your response to, this, to those comments? My response is I think he was talking to Zapiro, <laughs> not me. Oh, do, 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 do not think that because the media, when the media we spoke didn't to quote Zapiro him properly. Yesterday, mm. as Zapiro said, he felt that it was a thinly veiled threat against the work that a cartoonists and satirists like yourselves do. No, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I, I just uh, I know uh, Zapiro and him have had run-ins in the past. I, I actually I know Zapiro. Uh, it's hard. It's hard being a satirist, and it's hard uh, as a white South African. It's really hard to find your 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 place as as I, I, I'm not trying to say it's hard to be a white South African. But as a satirist, uh, I think someone like Sapiro speaks his mind a lot, and in the process, he gets accused of, of racism. And um, I'm lucky I've never been in, in the middle of that kind of storm, and hopefully it won't happen to me. But it is very hard. I mean, I've done stuff which uh, has got me sent to the Broadcast Complaints Commission by white people actually saying that it was racist towards white people. Um, I don't want to... You know, I, I'm, I'm, I respect Zapiro and his work, but I don't want to uh, sort of jump on a kind of bandwagon of satirists and cartoonists all uh, saying that there's a thinly veiled attack. Uh, look, there's, there's two sides to it. The one side of, to it is that if a cartoon by Zapiro or if a song by me offends a lot of people, then there's no place for the person who's made the song to say, no, you're wrong for being offended. Um, Really, you have. Do, do you find that you're having to, to 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 think harder to not be offensive or uh, to be cautious around the kind of reaction that your work might prompt? I suppose so, but I don't really want to do that. I think, um, you know, I I, I think that you, you might get into trouble, but you need to stay true to yourself and you need to really just think things through yourself. And, but you know, at the same time, if people get offended, then maybe you need to look into it. If a lot of people offend, get offended, then you maybe need to look into it and say, either, no, they're wrong, and I stand by my work, or, no, I actually think there's something there. I don't want to say that it's, uh, look, what I do think is that, um, you know, racism is real, and um, if a lot of people get offended by a Zapiro cartoon, then maybe there's something to that. But I also think that at the same time, it's not great if it's used as a kind of distraction. Because I think at this stage in government, there's a lot going on. And um, I think you see that the, the harder things get in government, the more like an anti-racism march and stuff you see happening at that time. So it does seem like it's a little bit of a distraction, which is something that a lot of sort of satirists, including guys like Luis Ogola, have pointed out. You know? And I think it's just sometimes hard to point it out from a white perspective. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, I I'll wait until someone tells me that the Gupta Bling video is racist. Okay. No one's told <laughs> and, me and that we're yet. And we're going to get to. We're going to. We're going to play that that video for uh, our viewers in a moment. I want you to perhaps let's take a look at the video, and then we're going to talk about it afterwards. This is a, a parody video that uh, the Deep Fried Man has come up with. Let's take a look. You used to. You used to. You used to call me. <laughs> <laughs> you used to call me on my cell phone To discuss that new year deal You'd call me on my cell phone We'd go out for an Indian meal Now I know when those Guptas ring They're gonna ask me for something Sadly though I can't say no I sold the country to them long ago Ever since you left the city of Mumbai We had a reputation for being tight Now everybody knows and they are so annoyed That you're the ones who got our cabinet employed Cause ever since I fired Nene, you Were the one they thought had really made the call The EFF are singing to the must fall my job has never seemed so insecure before You used to call me on my cell phone Just to tell me what to 
do Now everybody else knows That you hired Jonas too Now I know when the Guptas ring Something dodgy will be happening I know when the Guptas ring It's like the shakes all over again well, it's one of those uh, songs that's hard not to react to because you actually picked a popular song, uh, mm. a song that has been popular for a couple of months now and uh, worked it all in there. Are you at all worried about getting into trouble for this video? It's actually just what I do is I take, I take popular songs and I, I mix them with politics. I just like the juxtaposition of you taking this really poppy song, which is about such fluffy stuff, and then you make it about like hard issues. But I've, it's actually my second song. I've got a video on my other channel, which is my Deep Fried Man channel, um, which is based on just Justin Bieber's boyfriend, and it was after the Vatikloof uh, landing, and it's called If I Was a Gupta. So, well, what kind of response have you been getting to this video in particular? Uh, so far, it's a good response. I mean, yeah, so far, it's a good response across the board from all kinds of different kinds of people and all kinds of different, you know, whether it's EFF supporters, DA, you know, no hardcore ANC supporters have really liked it so much. But I think the atmosphere right now is that even ANC supporters um, are. I think a lot of ANC supporters themselves are annoyed with what's going on. So I think it's, it's resonated. So I think that's what it is. I mean, as a political satirist, I'm reactive. I don't just come up with stuff and put it out there. I wait for stuff to happen and then I react to it. And so yeah. I, I try and that's why I try and just make it relevant because if, some, if you take a popular song and mix it with a popular sentiment at the right time, then, then that's a good reason. What do you think this does, uh, being able to sit and watch a video like this? I mean, I'm hearing uh, all the different type of reaction from the people in the gallery and of course, <laughs> Also in the newsroom, uh, but just to not only add a sense of humor to it, but w what do you think it adds to the national conversation that, that is happening currently? Uh, I'm not one of those people who thinks that satire is this like amazing medicine which is going to cure the problems of the country. I, I, I think people take it too seriously. I think really all it is is that you're seeing this issue over and over again and it's so serious and people are getting so um, heated and so worked up about it and all this is is it's an attempt to take that exact same issue and kind of lighten it up a bit. Show that it's not that serious, it's not that bad, show the lighter side to it. That's all it really is. And where is. can people go to get the full uh, text or the full for a video that we've just played. I'm glad you asked because I get I get to say that I didn't make it on my own. There's there's some guys I work with. We've got this channel called Malcontent, and we started off. We made our first video was an ode to Trevor Noah when he took on the Daily Show, um, and all of our videos are there. So it's called Malcontent. You can find it on YouTube. But if you look for Gupta Bling then this video will come up and then that'll link you to Malcontent. And there's two very talented people called James de Rothschild and Chris van der Watt who uh, made the graphics of the video. I sent them the song and I said, would it be possible to do X, Y, Z? And then they just did it. So they're um, very talented people and there's lots of other videos up there if, you're, if you want to have a look. Oh, certainly uh, on the lighter side of politics, comedian uh, Daniel Friedman, uh, otherwise known as the Deep Fried Man. Uh, more news when we continue. Stay with us.